you beautiful people and welcome back to another small car big city video. My name is Thomas Gray and you join me here in a brand new Mini Cooper. Now I know that seems a bit weird but it is a Mini so it still counts. Now the reason that I'm driving this car today is because we're starting a new and really exciting adventure for us at Small Car. You see over the past 12 months Covid has affected our business somewhat and it's meant that we haven't been able to take around you beautiful people and show you the amazing city that we love so much. But what it has meant is that we've been able to brainstorm and think what we want the company to be like over the next five to ten years. And what we've decided is that we want to be a real force for good, a global icon in sustainable classic car travel. So today marks the start of the conversion of our fleet over to electric power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet with Rob the boss and his father over in Farringdon. We're going to load Rosie up onto a trailer and take her up to Classic Dreamworks in Hertfordshire to get her body in tip-top condition before we take her over to Electrogenics up in Oxford for the conversion. Now before any of you get bored or click off this video, I'm going to be quiet and I'll see you in Farringdon. All that surprising really, new German engineering always works. But we have all of our classics here, well, I say all, most of. Sadly they are rather mothballed, but the one that we're here for is this little badger right here, Rosie. Now, time for some Hollywood magic and watch her start first time after a year. Right, go, ready? Thank you very much for your help, miss. Yeah. Have a good day. So we finally got on Rosie out of the car park and because I can't be trusted to put it on Chris's trailer, I have my glamorous assistant, Rob, to fling it on the trailer. Rob, do your work. And that is how you put a Mini on a trailer. So Rob and I have just dropped Rosie off with Phil at Classic Dreamworks here up in Hertfordshire. He's going to spend the next week or so just stripping the car down, finding all the issues with the bodywork and then letting us know roughly what it's going to cost, what it's going to look like and what the progress is for the next month or so. Now I'm going to be popping back little by little, just checking up on Phil, showing you guys the coolest parts about the build and what is to come. So stay tuned and remember to always like and subscribe and thank you very much guys. See you on the next one. Bye bye.